all right so welcome back to great reviews at all um i am going to be reviewing love and marriage dc um season one episode one um title of this episode is welcome to chocolate city um so pretty much just like any new um show coming on is introducing all of the um uh people who are going to be on the show um all of the the couples and everything um so that that's pretty much the gist of what was happening not gonna be too much to say just now uh, just because this was more of an informational type of um episode just kind of letting us see who we are going to be watching um what kind of introducing us to the storylines what to expect that's that's kind of what we were given um work with me because of course like i said this is a new uh, show i have to learn the names get familiar with the names the couples you know and everything um chris and monique they are not new to the tv for for most of us um if you are into the real housewives of potomac we have already been introduced to monique and chris um i'm interested to see how um she is going to be on this particular show um the way that monique is pretty much presenting herself as like okay so you are going to get the more of me who i am on the daily basis i'm a mom i'm a businesswoman i'm a wife there's more to me than what you saw on than what was portrayed on um housewives of potomac when that show is is the other show you know that's the way that they use it um so like i said she comes back on the screen um apparently carlos he came to her with the idea you know trying to see if he could get her interested in in um being on the show um she please excuse these clothes right here these are clean clothes okay those are my baby's clothes and i'm gonna get those together in just a minute but i want to film this video first before i did anything else um so uh carlos convinced her but she didn't agree with it originally uh but that that changed uh she changed her mind um she immediately comes on she's promoting not for lazy moms um that's great um that we're gonna get a little bit more um into her business um and see where she is on that um if i'm not mistaken she was just starting it starting that business on the other show so now it's been some time in between and i would let it's going to be great to see where she is with that um let's see they bring in ashley um she introduces herself as the sweetest b and you know the rest um interesting okay um let's see Irena. if i'm saying it right Irena. Uh, she comes on and introduces herself as a serious entrepreneur. So basically saying she doesn't just have, she's not just into one business. She has multiple businesses. She does just about, she has her hands in, in a little bit of everything. Um, let's see. Then we find out that Monique, uh, she reached out to Irina through the DM um, to, to get her interested in coming on to the show. Um, so that's good to know um let's see they bring on winter um <laughs> shading winter for her hairstyle was just like okay really um uh, pretty much saying that you know showing the before and the after and the present um saying that you know most women they cut their hair when they uh, when they going through some stuff um, and maybe she was, but what is it to you? I mean, if she wanted something fresh, something new, something different, she wanted to, you know, really switch it up, that's her prerogative. Um, if she's in love with it, that's all that matters at the end of the day. She's the one that has to look at herself in the mirror every day and get ready. So that is her business. Um, let's see. So Winter uh, says that she's known Monique for 16 years. So that is how that relationship came about. It seems more so like it's more so sent Chris and uh monique are the center and so she looked into different people to bring in to test uh to come on for the show people that she knew and felt would be a great fit for the show um let's see this uh the winter lady as they are doing their whole thing because it, it comes in where monique was doing a um 
doing an event. Um, so the winter lady, she comes on as a guest host, a, a guest speaker, and she starts, you know, just talking about, you know, her self. She mentions that her ex-spouse cheated on her with the nanny and uh, then got, then had a baby on her, turned around and had another baby on her. And then at that point she was like, okay, count me out. Um, interesting. Okay. Um, let's see. Irena. Yeah, Irena. Irena is the one, like I said, I'm learning the names. Y'all work with me. Irena, she um, is pretty much talking about her and her husband. They are going to be having, uh, let me see if I can remember her name, Jamie. Irena and Jamie, they are having, uh, celebrating their anniversary, they're having a party, and then Monique comes in with like, oh yeah, we do a Q&A, you know, about your, you know, we just want to ask you some questions about your, your marriage and how you guys have made it this far, and, and it's like, ma'am, look, if we're throwing a party, we're throwing a party, we're not here to sit down, have a Q&A, and you know talk about our marriage and all this stuff we want to have a good time we want to party we the, we want to enjoy our friends and family not interested agreed that's not the time if you want to do something separate do a couple things and then y'all can just sit down and just talk about you know and talk amongst each other in that way not at a party monique with i don't understand that um the, all right so hello Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Another video I recorded just started playing out of nowhere. But yeah, okay. So um, I was saying that Ashley, she kind of starts throwing a little a little jab about the age difference between Irena and the other ladies. Um, that was so shady and unnecessary. Um, we're getting to know everybody, so we'll, let's not judge too quickly. Um, I was just like, okay, so Ashley had already made comments about drinking more when she's bored. That was rude, number one. Number two, at the point where y'all were in the, you know, on the side talking to each other, um, I don't know if you were feeling your drinks at that point. Like I said, you already made a comment that you had and already had a few, um, but you were, it was a little interesting. <laughs> that was just unnecessary shade for you to even do that to that lady. And it was just like, really? Um, let's see, they gone over, you know, that night is over. So the next day or whenever they come back, um, they're at Monique's house, you know, they're just showing her walking around, you know, with her products. Um, she has a lot of her stuff at home doing orders from the house. Um, that's what works for her and, and it's okay with her husband to have all that going on in the house. But everything else they got, ha they have going on. Then hey, that's all, that's that's their prerogative. Um, Chris is in there; he's working out. Um, she pretty much comes in there and starts kind of, you know, nitpicking with him. But he pretty much uh, kicks her right on out of the gym. Goodbye. You interrupted me. You distracted me. Bye bye. Um, they are pretty much um, pretty much setting up their storyline to be more so of them having some marital issues as far as like the emotional connection is just not really there um so so clearly that's gonna be what's gonna be going on with the both of them um from his point of view he says that he feels like he is the whole package he's a good husband he's at home he works he you know takes care of everything financially um he helps out with the kids you know, anything that she needs, he's there, you know, um, I don't know what to say to that, but if that's how he feels, that's how you feel, sir. All right, moving on, um, they bring back on Irena, um, just kind of giving us a little bit more into her. Um, Irena is, uh, pretty much letting everyone know, you know, her mother lives with her. She's, um, she's happy that her mom lives with her. Her mom helps with, um, their son, Jason. Um, she helps with the son, Jason. She also will cook for them as well. And she enjoys it. I mean, who wouldn't, um, enjoy their mother's home cooked meals? Understood. I surely do. Um, and then we find out that what Jamie does for a living, her Irena's husband, he is the, um, he has a party, um, 
production type business. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm totally saying that wrong, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, he so he does he does the parties. Uh, that's what he does for a living, and clearly he's great at what he does, and um, that is how he makes his living. I'm sure he has other business ventures that go, that's going on in the same with Arena, as she did say she's a serious entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur. Um, and we, um, so they said that they have been married for 26 years. So that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, really interested to see what goes on with their storyline. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, we find out that Jamie and little Jamie, the son, they have not been getting along. Um, haven't been talking, haven't talked to each other for months. Um, they do, um, go into detail a little bit further about that through down further in the episode um they move on to ashley and quick um quick silver if if i'm saying it right um i believe that that is the proper his name um what he goes by so uh they have a beautiful home family beautiful everything's great they said they've been married for about 13 years i think you know just showcasing these things um, like I said, the show is love and marriage, so it's it's good to to see um, the ins and outs of, of the years, time put in on, on these married couples. Um, she's pretty much at a point where she's saying that with the type of job that he has, she pretty much feels like a single mom. She's doing everything. Um, but then on top of that, um, we, we find out from her that she wants to start doing more for herself she feels like she's not fading away um just in trying to do what everybody else want her to do i totally understand what you i totally understand i really do so pretty much just them two sitting down talking you know about what she needs and what he can do to um help in that situation um right now and he fully understands that the lifestyle that he wants or provides for his family pretty much makes it to where he just can't be there as much as he would like to but even in trying to find that balance that's a tough situation um but he's like i wish i could be a stay-at-home dad and you know do all of this other stuff and, and for the most part just kick my feet up smoke a little cigar and go on about my day but sir being a stay-at-home dad it's, it's not going to be just that especially when you still have the kids um so they come go back into we are seeing a scene with Irena and little Jamie. They are um, going to go look at cars. Um, now when she get there, she makes it very clear when they pull in, sir. I am not spending my money on anything out here. So let's be clear on that before you start looking at these cars and talking to anybody about your about purchasing a vehicle. I ain't believe that not one bit. I really didn't. If you was going out there with him to go look at a car, honey, you, you was probably finna buy it. But that's your business. Um, let's see. So, with that whole little scene, she pretty much was just kind of saying, you know, I I want you and your dad to, you know, find, to figure it out. You know, we don't, they, you know, pretty much they want to try to get him from whatever direction he was heading in. Um, to put rein it back in and get back focused on you know on just being a good person um, being more careful about the company that you keep and the things that you get into as a black man um, in this world and it is definitely understandable definitely um, so she you know pretty much saying you know you just you don't want to, you don't want to live as the parent live in that fear that you're going to get that phone call saying that something happened to your child um so you know that was a a, a very touching scene uh just letting us into what they have going on and like i said that that seems like that's going to be a part of their storyline um so let's see so it's time for uh jamie and Irena's party um Everybody's coming in. Everybody looks great, beautiful. They're dressed. Everyone looks looks amazing. Um, let me see. Winter is there. Uh, she did mention 
um, that she's that she is married right now um, to. So she has a second husband, but they're not together, and they haven't been together for about six months. Um, I don't know what was going on. Um, they, there was the word scammer thrown around. We don't know that to be true, but just based off of the words that she used, the person that he presented to himself to her um, prior to them getting married is not who he ended up being. Um, we'll get more information on that dynamic um, as, this, as the episodes come. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with where we are on the um on that um so she pretty much said that he just up and left and went back to his parents home and there's his parents home like this man how old is he because apparently he's an older man well into his 60s or something like that and you just something is off about it but okay um so as they're all sitting down, they're still waiting for Jamie and Arena to make their entrance. Um, but then all of a sudden now, all of the couples want to do, oh yeah, we do want to do a Q&A. Um, we want to, you know, ask them, you know, what, what's the secret or, you know, how, what did they do? You know, how did they overcome certain obstacles in their marriage? And I'm just like, all right, what is with this pushing thing about a QA? and a um, is that something that Monique is pushing and she wants everybody else to kind of get on board with it? Is this something that production is pushing for them to ask the questions um, to really, you know, get the conversation flowing? Like, what is that about? I'm that I just it was just like, why is this like a repeating thing? The Q and A, the Q and A, we want a Q and A, and and they made it very clear. She made it very clear. Irina did. We are coming to party, not to sit down and do a Q&A. Um, so, you know, finally when uh, Jamie and Irena, they're sitting down and talking and they get going and, and bringing up this Q&A stuff again, um, Irena and them, and, Bo, and, and them, Irena and Jamie, they pretty much like, okay, uh, this ain't marriage counseling. Like, we not doing this right here, right now. Um, so they're sitting down there talking. Will Jamie come, actually does show up, um, I'm gonna call him Big Jamie. Big Jamie didn't, uh, he didn't expect him to come, but I thought that was great that he made that effort to show up. Um, immediately they, you know, he went, Will Jamie went around, spoke. Um, he asked to speak to his dad for a second. They had a really good conversation, a really come to Jesus moment. Um, expectations and, you know, just expressing each other, expressing to each other, you know, what was going on in that moment. We find out that little Jamie was just really much, you know, smoking marijuana every day. Um, and it really did affect him mentally to where it just had him in a space where he just was not, you know, he is in a space where it's like, dude, I am an adult, but y'all are treating me like this. And, you know, just trying to figure it out as a young adult, um, uh, pretty much, but just under, understanding that your parents want the best for you at the end of the day. So they wouldn't be on you if they didn't care. But just making your, um, being clear about where you, you have to kind of break that up a little bit. Just being clear about your boundaries. Um, it'll go far with their relationship. So it was good to see that they were able to, to, to work through that in that moment. So that was a good thing sh to show. Um, so they make amends. Um, then let's see. Party obviously must've went well. Um, they come back in with Chris and Monique. They're sitting down talking and they're at home. Um, here we go again with the Q and A stuff. What is that about? They're they're celebrating their um, anniversary. They're throwing a whole party. They don't spend money on people up dressing, looking nice. They want to enjoy. L drop it for that particular time. They didn't say that they wouldn't. They said at that moment, that's not what they were there to do. Ugh. Um, we find out Chrissy has a life coach. Um, hey, um, not for me, but if it's for you, then then it is. This, that's your business um if that's what he the both of them feel that they need in their lives to help them along the way um with their marriage or just personally um i'm all for it um so he's saying you know pretty much that he's grateful for her for being patient with him but in that scene she just looked really irritated with him um 
and maybe because this is something that's been a repeating cycle for her um, in the way that he deals with things and, and now she's at a place of frustration but you could see it all over her um, so um, let me see what else I said um, she pretty much said that the way that he was raised um, and, and they're totally different in that way is that if there's any type of you know any issues going on you pretty much would just brush it under the rug and just move on and apologize just for the sake of apologizing to end whatever it is but you never deal with the situation at hand um and he was doing just that exactly what she said he was doing just that okay well i'm sorry i apologize i ain't mean it no your wife is telling you what she what she's expecting do the work um, she said that she did her part from what the uh, life coach asked them to do or the therapist, whoever they are. Um, he didn't do it because they were not meeting. But then for her, she's taking it as, okay, so you're not taking this serious. Um, you're not willing to do your part in making sure that we get on the same page and in what you, what you're um, passionate about and what you want to do for yourself. Don't just say yes to something just to appease her. You have to, you know, also make sure that you are feeding into yourself as well. And don't just think that the little bit that you are doing is, is more than enough. But she's telling you it's not. But um, that, we'll have to see what happens with it. Like I said, as we clearly you can understand just from this that that is going to be what their storyline is going to be about um hopefully they don't they don't drag it out too much for us you know um but let's we'll see what happens um i'm interested i am going to watch i'm going to keep watching we'll see how it goes i'm hoping for the best because i do love um love and marriage so hopefully love and marriage dc will be just as great as huntsville um but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to do my best to stay consistent with the videos. Um, just let me know, you know, like I said, let me know what you think about the show. Let's talk about it. Um, enjoy your day. Make it a great day. And I will return with more videos for different shows. Bye, y'all.